the US Navy down selected 5 ship designs to compete for the FFGX frigate program on February 16, 2018. The US Navy intends to award a detailed design and construction contract for the first FFGX in 2020, the second ship in 2021, followed by the third and fourth ships in 2022. The per hull cost is expected to be 950 million US dollars on average for 20 frigates in the class. During the 2018 Surface Navy Association's National Symposium held in January, nearly all of the eight competing designs were being showcased. Here is an overview of the five remaining finalists based on the coverage and interviews we conducted at SNA 2018 last month. All right, Tim, what can you tell us about your design proposal for FFGX? Um, sure. So, as you know, we've modified our LCS design to meet the new requirements for the frigate. Um, we've taken some of the space and weight that's available on our design and repurposed that to meet the future requirements for the FFGX. One of the major missions that the Navy wanted to expand for the FFGX was local area defense. Uh, and so they've asked us to arrange vertical launch systems. They've asked for Mark 41 um, stripe length uh, launchers. And so we arranged them uh, last year uh, on the 05 level, this year uh, we put them forward and aft. The forward one is in the forward mission bay. The aft one is just aft of our flight deck. We have 16 cells uh, to support uh, both ESSM as well as SM2 or SM6. And uh, how confident are you that uh, your design is the right answer for the U.S. Navy? Uh, so we feel that the C-frame, the proven C-frame, it's been deployed, um, provides a low-risk, um, low-cost solution to the Navy's future requirements. Essentially, we're taking a proven design that has space and weight available in it, repurposing the, that uh, volume for the things the Navy wants. Um, our, our objective is to keep the cost down, keep the NRE down, but, but give the Navy exactly what they want for a future surface event. Finger Jerry is bringing forward Frem, as you can see, actually. It's, uh, it's a beautiful ship. She's um, the most modern and uh, uh, capable and in-service uh, frigate uh, right there now. They have uh, six ships already in service, accumulating miles, um, and she meets all the requirements that, that currently the U.S. Navy has uh, brought forward through the concept design RFP, and we're looking to turn her also into an even more uh, American version as we're working through the concept design should we be awarded it. It, currently as is, the hull, the, the way it's, it's set up, has, has already, as we've seen at least, uh, does meet the requirements that, 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 uh, that uh, the U.S. Navy is setting up for speed, uh, for range, uh, for signature, uh, all, almost ticks almost all the boxes, especially on those five main categories that they've set up. Um, other than that, we definitely recognize some things uh, that, that we want to adjust. Uh, and on top of that, it has its own flexibility already, especially on the top line to accommodate uh, whatever other uh, adjustments will be needed for the type of equipment and things that the U.S. Navy will look for us to, to put on top of her. Our, our yard in Marinette that has been building the, the, the LCSs, the littoral combat ships, is by now, we, it took us those years to actually set her up to be ready to, be, to serially produce ships. She's ready to be doing two, two and a half uh, ships per year. Uh, so uh, we're looking to actually uh, turn that, keep that facility warm and, uh, and get them all produced here in the U.S. with a strong U.S. team backing it up. We start today's video on the General Dynamics Bath Ironworks booth. They are showcasing the F-100 frigate with their partner Navancia of Spain. Bath Ironworks FFGX design is based on the F-100 parent design which is proven in service in the navies of Spain and Australia and is evolved from the US Navy's FFG-7 Oliver Hazard Perry class. Lockheed Martin unveiled today a new scale model showing their offering for the US Navy FFGX program. The model is using the LCS hull form, Freedom type. It is fitted with a 57mm Mark 110 main gun, space for longbow hellfire surface-to-surface -surface missiles, 
16 Mark 41 vertical launch systems, 8 surface to surface anti ship missiles, Harpoon or Razum, 4 Nolka decoy launchers, the Enterprise uh, radar by Raytheon. There's a recess space uh, for the funnels for increased uh, low observability features. CWIP electronic warfare antennas, a laser weapon system made by Lockheed Martin, a serum launcher on top of the helicopter hangar as per the requirement, as well as a helicopter pad for an MH-60 helicopter. The Lockheed frigate retains the quad water jet propulsion system of the LCS Freedom type and a towed array. However, a couple of bilge keels have been fitted towards the stern for increased stability. Another selected design is Huntington Ingalls Industries. While the company kept a very low profile at SNA 2018 and was not showcasing a scale model of its FFGX conceptual design, here is what we know about the Ingalls Shipbuilding Patrol Frigate based on an interview we conducted during Sea Airspace 2014. We have here a patrol frigate. It's based on a proven design from the National Security Cutter. It's been not three National Security Cutters have been delivered to the U.S. Coast Guard, and we continue to build those out. We've taken that hull form and we've militarized it by adding different combat systems, such as a 76 millimeter gun, vertical launch system, a sea ram, harpoons, torpedoes a towed array, and a hull-mounted sonar forward. Uh, this ship has excellent sea keeping. It has uh, exceptional range. It has uh, fast speeds over 28 knots. And it can launch uh, helos and have boat operations in Sea State 5 or better. Uh, these ships are coming down a learning curve, so they're very affordable. And they are um, on schedule they're able to be produced at a rapid pace for the customer. The combat systems, uh, we're also very flexible with our combat systems. We're able to accommodate whatever customer combat systems uh, may be required. Uh, we are also interested, uh, we understand the Navy is looking at uh, alternatives for a small surface combatant. And although we don't know the requirements yet, we are interested in offering our patrol frigate for that.